Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Mitchell, owner and founder of Louisiana Power Systems. And in today's video, we're covering how to install a light switch to a light. I wanted to start making these videos because these tips can save you thousands of dollars when it comes to repairs or just doing projects around your home. So stay tuned to this channel and soon enough you'll be able to wire an entire house on your own. Well, first things first, electricity is extremely dangerous. If you're uncertain about what you're doing, call an electrician. Let's get started. So first step to doing electrical work, making sure power is off. Never work on energized equipment. We can see power is off, the light is blinking, it's not steady red or it's not ringing. So we know we're good. This is our incoming power running 12.2 Romex. This is our power. This is our switch leg coming from the switch to the light. I have our two grounds tied together already in this box with just the loops ready to be made up. An important thing to know is the loop that goes onto this green ground screw you want to make sure the loop is going clockwise with the screw as it tightens for a good connection. If you have it the opposite way, you're actually loosening the connection. So let's get this on here. And for the safest practice, the ground is always going on first. If you're disassembling this thing, the ground is the last thing to come off. Moving on, we have our two white neutrals. These wire nut together like this. And you can pre-twist them for a good, if you like to do it that way, a better connection. The wire nut will tighten them. This is just to demonstrate how it's done. Now, we have our two hots, our switch leg hot and our incoming power hot. It doesn't matter in theory where they go on the switch, but the best practice is always put power on the bottom Anybody coming behind you, another electrician, is going to assume power is on the bottom, but it doesn't matter. Power goes to bottom. Our switch leg will go to the top. And all this switch is doing is, when the switch is off, it's breaking that circuit so you can't get current to this light. And as soon as you turn this switch on, you're closing that circuit, allowing the current to flow through. And that's it, moving on to the light. We actually have a plastic housing and light, so we don't need the ground. I wouldn't cut this ground off. You may end up replacing it and getting a metal box, which it would need to be grounded then. And you can see here, the black always goes to bronze, your white always goes to silver. So hot, bronze, neutral, silver. Another thing to pay attention to, you can't strip this jacket out. This jacket has to be within a quarter inch inside this box. You can't strip this wire out out here and have the black, white, and ground exposed outside this box. It has to be inside of the box at least a quarter of an inch. As well as these staples I have up here, within 12 inches of the box, the wire needs to be supported. And that's it. We have black going to bronze and we have white going to silver. Time to go turn power on. And there we are, power, no power. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Each week I'm gonna upload different videos to the point where you'll know how to wire your entire house on your own. Thanks for stopping by, stay tuned for the next video.